family of the late Joseph Njuguna, who died after being mauled by a hyena, have finally laid him to rest. The burial comes after a four-year-long wait for DNA results confirmation from the government pathologist that the remains were indeed his. Speaking to NTV, the family called for a better framework in place for the families of those that have lost their loved ones to attacks from wild animals. <laughs> The somberness of the burial of Joseph Njoguna was mixed with relief from his family, who have waited four years to bury their loved one. In 2017, Njoguna was grazing his livestock on a farm at Como village thicker when hyenas mauled him to death. A desperate search by his family would lead them to what remained of him, bones and tattered clothes in the middle of a field. The government would however bar the family from burying what was believed to be Njoguna's remains until DNA processing could ascertain it. The long wait for his results would see Njoguna's father pass away from stress-related complications and a dying wish that his son would finally be laid to rest. The family had stashed some of Jogona's bones in their home to avert high preservation costs at a facility as they awaited the government's go-ahead. Leaders who attended the funeral urged the Kenya Wildlife Service to be vigilant about the rise in wild animals in thicker area, particularly hyenas, which have been terrorizing residents. Mujue venye mtapunguza our office hapa wamekuwa wengi sana they cannot they can no longer feed on scavenging scavenging si nyingi kama venye hyenas wako and they patrol from Juja all the way to Etavia Two other people have lost their lives at Modhara and Kagoki villages in Thika and Juja constituencies respectively from attacks from wild animals Ngena Kirori and TV